Welcome back to Insight. We are joined now by attorney Dave Farnbaugh. Dave, I love when you're here because you have such useful information. And one of the things we're going to talk about today is um, what you need to ask when you're going to hire an injury attorney. Again, these are bummer situations, but you know, it, it happens. So if you've been in an accident, does it make a difference what attorney you hire? Well, it really does. I mean, it's just like any other professional that people are going to hire. Um, I think nowadays, intelligent consumers want to do some research on any professional that they're going to hire, and a, an attorney is no different. Um, People are bombarded nowadays with television commercials for law firms that say they specialize in personal injury. Mm -hmm. um, nowadays that people that are involved in accidents receive what we call solicitation letters in the mail. Um, right after an accident, you're apt to receive dozens of solicitation letters in the mail from different law firms that want to handle your personal injury case. So. It's important for people to do a little bit of research before they make a decision. If you base your decision on information that you receive in a solicitation letter or lawyer ads, um, that's a recipe for getting maybe not the right lawyer. I would think that it's really the kind of thing that you probably ought to do a little research on or have a little knowledge of before you're in that situation. Because when you're in that situation, you are overwhelmed. Perhaps if you've been injured, you are not in a frame of mind where you really are capable of making the best decision in the first place. Right. Well, I mean, there, there, there are some uh, suggestions and tips, I think, that can help people select the right lawyer. Um, there are various peer review organizations that um, rate lawyers. It's mm -hmm. lawyers uh, rating other lawyers. Um, there's a publication out there called Martindale Hubble that is a peer rating uh, service of lawyers rating other lawyers. There's a publication called Best Lawyers in America that rates the best lawyers in, in different specialties and subspecialties so that you know that information is available on the internet if you want to do a, a peer review search on a lawyer. Uh, lawyers now, just like physicians, can go through a board certification process hmm. where a lawyer can go through and take an examination and meet the ethical criteria where they can become a board certified trial attorney. So there are things that are available that people can research online to check out an attorney. Um, I think one of the best ways to find the right attorney is to talk to, um, if you know a lawyer, to find out who the lawyer is in that community, lawyer or lawyers that are recognized in that particular specialty. Mm -hmm. Usually the lawyers in a particular town, they know who the good lawyers are mm -hmm. in a certain specialty. So if you do know a lawyer, even if that lawyer doesn't handle personal injury or medical malpractice, that lawyer will usually know who the good lawyers are. Or if you have, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to ask if, uh, you know, if you're given these recommendations and, and you know that you have, uh, you know, a few good um, attorneys at your disposal, should you interview those attorneys? Yeah, that's something that um, is sort of a unique phenomenon. I think a lot of times people just set up an appointment with a lawyer. They go in and sign up with a lawyer, and they really don't go through a selection process like they should. Mm. I would highly recommend that if you're going to involved in any type of a serious legal case, that you schedule an appointment with maybe two or three different or, uh, lawyers and go in and talk to those lawyers about you know their credentials and the types of cases that they've handled. You know whether other lawyers refer cases to them, personal injury cases, and just find out if your personality meshes with this I was lawyer. Say you need to be able to click with them. I mean, if you're going to be trusting them, it's just like a physician or anyone. I mean, you need to have a relationship with them and be able to trust them. Right. No, so I think it is important that, like I said, it, it's actually you interviewing them. It's not them interviewing you because you're the one that has the authority and the power to make a decision. Yes, I'm going to go with this lawyer versus another law firm. So it's really the lawyer has to sort of meet your criteria of what you're looking for before you make that decision. That's so smart and, and honestly something that I had never considered. You're right. You, mm -hmm. Yeah, you choose one and then you go with it. Um, whereas, much like with a physician, you should maybe get a second opinion Absolutely. or see if your personalities 
match. Are there, are there a couple specific questions that you ought to make sure that you ask that attorney when you're interviewing them? Yeah, I would say probably the number one thing that I would want to ask if, if I were going in and, and going to hire an attorney to represent me in a significant injury case is how much experience that person has in a courtroom. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. lots of personal injury attorneys or people that hold themselves out to do a malpractice case or serious injury cases that if you looked at their track record, they never go in front of juries and never try cases. You know, they're just out there advertising that, you know, they handle these cases, but if you look behind the scenes, so to speak, you find out that they haven't tried a lot of cases in front of a jury. and. That's a critical thing. The opponents, the insurance companies and the lawyers that defend these kind of cases, they always know the lawyers who actually go in mm -hmm. and, and try cases to juries and get results and the ones that don't. So I think that's the number one thing that you really want to research is a person's track record in the courtroom. Now we've talked about how, you know, after you've been injured um, or uh, there's been medical malpractice, you're not necessarily in a great frame of mind. Uh, so does the Sweeney Law Firm offer, um, you know, information to consumers so that they they know upfront uh, sort of where to go next. We do. We we offer what we call a free report on how to select the right attorney. It contains a lot of useful information and tips for consumers about the questions to ask, the things to look up online for different law, lawyers and law firms, so that you do make the right choice. And we offer that as a free report. If you just call our law firm or go online, we'll send you a copy of that report. All right. Well, you want to make sure and do that today if you have questions about. Uh, an injury case or a medical malpractice case or any other legal questions, visit their um, website today. You can do that. SweeneyLawFirm.com or give their office a call. We'll be right back on Insight.